Nick speaking, and welcome to this video right continuing on with my Wraith Knight painting challenge. Uh, so in the previous video you saw me com completed uh, the base coat of the purple, um, and then I thought I would just take the ball by the horns and just continue with the purple. So I've gone in now, I've uh, been doing the second uh, coat, which was the light purple, or leech purple. Um, I haven't finished it yet, but so I'll just show you what I have done. So this time I started off doing all the little bits and pieces. Uh, so I've got all the arms done, all the little bits of the guns, and the little fins I've done as well. Um, this arm here that's completed. And I'm currently working on the, the legs and the body. I've been sort of switching from one to the other, just doing bits of, because like, they're quite big plates. So doing a big plate and then letting it dry, working on the next plate. Um, but I did time actually this leg, on here I've done one leg um, and I timed how long it took me and it took me an hour uh, to paint that. I mean it's, it's there, as I said before, there's lots of nooks and crannies and humps and bumps on this. Um, it was a lot easier to paint obviously over the base coat, so just making sure that it had a nice thin layer. Uh, so I did mix a little bit of water, not too much, uh, but a little bit of water in with the purple to give me a nice even coat. Uh, so that's coming on quite nicely, uh, but I've still got one leg to do there. And then on the body, um, I've just done a few of the plates here going on the top. I've done that back plate, but yeah, I've still got plenty more painting to do. Um, so I shall continue painting up the purple uh, before I move on to the next stage. And uh, yeah, that's what I've been up to.